Before you come to Rome, make sure you watch this video. Ciao a tutti, mi chiamo David, benvenuti sul mio canale. Hi everyone, my name is David, welcome to my channel, and today we're talking about the things you can and can't do here in the center of Rome. Today's topic is about some new city rules that have been enforced here in Rome. They're not actually new, but, but efforts have been stepped up recently to enforce them again. If we're just meeting for the first time, once again, welcome, my name is David, and on my channel I talk about all things Italy. So I've been doing a lot of videos on Rome and more specifically transportation here in the city. However, in today's video, I'm going to really give you my opinion on certain rules here in the city of Rome. Ci siamo, andiamo. The first rule is that you cannot eat, sit, or drink on any of the monuments. The second one is you cannot go around in public partially unclothed or if you want half naked. The third one are the locks of love. And if you've never seen these before, these are quite simply locks and couples take them, they, they lock them onto a bridge or fence or something of, the, of this sort. It's supposed to be something symbolic of their love in the sense that we are locked together. The fourth rule is anybody caught breaking any of these rules will be fined and also exiled from the city center or centro storico in Italian. There's other rules, there's other infractions that uh, the city of Rome is trying to crack down on. However, these are the ones that caught my attention and these are the ones that I think uh, are most pertainable to, to tourists. Now, before I give you my opinion, I can tell you now that not everyone is going to agree with me, but you know, that's life. I mean, you just can't please everybody, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, opinions are like noses, you know, we all have one. I think with all these laws, really, uh, they are purely subjective. It really just depends on the severity of the action, really. So let's get into the first one, eating, drinking, um, and even climbing on the monuments. I would say that this one here, in my opinion, uh, makes the most sense, really. If you are on a sacred monument and you're caught, uh, you know, having pizza or if you're climbing all over it, I do think it does take away from um, some of the specialness of, of these monuments here, especially messy eating. I mean, I, th I think it just goes without saying. If you sit on a monument and then you leave a mess behind, well, you know, that, that's a no-no in any city. I do think, however, that the point of this law in regards to stop people from uh, eating and drinking on monuments is to simply um, prevent them from leaving trash behind, because unfortunately that does happen here in Rome sometimes. <laughs> but the most important thing to remember is that, you know, when you come to Rome, you are a guest in this city. And so therefore, if somebody tells you uh, to, you know, to not do this, then you're a guest, you know? To me, that's the same thing as going over to a friend's house and behaving badly. I mean, would you do that over a friend's house? The monument in question where you're not allowed to sit is, is Piazza di Spagna, the Trinità dei Monti stairs. And the other day I went there and I did see police actively patrolling the stairs and they were telling people to, uh, to get up, you can't sit down there. I don't fully understand the logic um, of this city ordinance, really. If you think about it, Walking up and down the stairs, to me, is more damaging for, um, for marble that's centuries old rather than sitting down. I wonder if they're really enforcing this law in an effort to get people to, uh, to sit down and spend money in local shops as opposed to uh, sitting on the steps. After you're walking around all day, you're tired, you want to rest for a bit. If you can't sit down there, then where are you going to go? Maybe a local store. Another reason why they don't want people uh, going up and down these stairs is in particular people that have strollers or perhaps suitcases. I suppose I can see the logic, you know, if you're lugging something heavy up and down these steps, you know, the marvel is centuries old and I suppose it could cause damage. How much damage? I don't know. But I suppose this would be the same thing as a, a big semi-truck going up and down a road, you know, for a continuing period of time, months, years. I suppose the benefit of not having people sit on the steps is that now it's much easier to, to go up and down the Spanish steps because before it was rather difficult to have to you know, climb for people to zigzag to get from the top to the bottom. The next law, going around the city half naked. This one, in my opinion, is a bit harder to gauge because if you think about it, let's take the beach, for example. When you go there, you know, what do you see? You see people uh, with very little clothing on. So what's the, what's the difference between going to the beach, a public place, and going to the center of Rome, a public place? I mean, you're both in public, so why is it okay to wear less clothing in one place than the other? It depends on maybe um, local obscenity laws. For example, maybe uh, it's allowed more at the beach, whereas in certain areas of an older city, you're not allowed to, you know, show some skin. I don't know. 
in all likelihood, and this is just my view, I think that this law is probably being reinforced uh, in an effort to clamp down on people who um, are just really provocative, so to speak. But again, it depends on your view of provocative. That's why this is not easy to uh, measure. The next one, the locks of love. Now, while I don't think there's anything uh, inherently wrong in, you know, they are uh, symbolic. I mean, yeah, people post them because they're in love. I do think that uh, perhaps they're not thinking of the long-term effects and this could possibly be uh, rust. Because, you know, if you think about it, if you have a bridge just full of locks, after a while, you know, when the water reacts with the metal, then you have a, a bridge full of rust. And it is kind of unsightly. And not only that, but the locks, if you put enough of them, actually, this could put some unwanted weight on a bridge. It could happen. Another rule they're trying to enforce is that you cannot swim in the fountains. Personally, I think that's just insane, really. So if any cop stops anybody from doing that, then they got my full support. Let's put this into perspective. Suppose you're a foreigner and you're coming to my country, the USA. Suppose you want to go out for the night and you go to a place like a nightclub or a bar, you know, a place that serves alcohol. You have to present ID and you have to be, um, you know, over 21. That's just the way it is in the United States. You know, I don't think a lot of people like the fact that, uh, you know, a complete stranger is asking you to show, you know, identification of your age and who you are. But again, you know, you're in somebody else's house and if you want to drink, that's what you got to do. The next law, the exiling part. Now, this one I think is a bit harder to enforce and I'll tell you why. You know, once you, you expel somebody from the Centro Storico, how do you really keep track of their movements? You know, how do you really know when they're, when they're coming in and out of, of this area? And that's another thing. You know, the person that you are kicking out, uh, if they're not from Rome, or even if they are from Rome, does this person really know uh, the boundaries of this uh, exiled area? I wouldn't. At the end of the day, when you come to a city like Rome, when you are a tourist here, you are, as I was saying before, you are a guest. You know, you still need to uh, respect the place where you're going. Well, in this week's phrase, I thought I would give you something that you could use if you happen to be uh, the target of some of these laws here. The expression that you can use is this. Scusi, non lo sapevo. Which simply means, I'm sorry, I didn't know. So use this expression in, like any word, kill them with kindness because, you know, you'll catch more flies with honey than you will vinegar. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any thoughts on these matters, if you want to share your opinion, even if you disagree with me, drop me a comment below and let, let's have a discussion about it. Also, please remember that the purpose of today's video was simply to inform you about what the local police are trying to enforce these days. Really, As a citizen of this country, I don't really consider myself a guest anymore, so this is why I want to kind of voice my opinions. Oh, something very important before I leave. If you like today's video, even if you didn't like it, you know, give me a like and also give me a dislike too. Uh, but also, if you want to see more of my videos in the future, uh, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell next to the subscription button. Because remember, anything you do with the video, even a dislike, this all helps my channel grow and this makes YouTube uh, promote my content more to people who want to learn about Italy. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.